Khan Academy is an online resource with thousands of videos and lots of cool courses. What makes it doubly cool is that it is free. But I wanted to make a quick video on using it for homeschooling. Should you do that? Was it made to be done? Can it be done? Well, just to confuse you, the answer is yes and no. Let me explain. If you're wanting an accredited homeschool curriculum, something that's going to kind of homeschool your child on its own and then spit out a beautiful homeschool diploma at the end of the child's studies, you're gonna be disappointed with Khan Academy. <laughs> and that's because it was never designed to do that in the first place. If, however, you wanted to use more of an unschooling way of education where your child is interested in something and you're like, hey, I'll go and find you a really cool course from Khan Academy to quench that desire, that sort of interest you have, Khan Academy is great. In fact, Easy Peasy, which is a complete online, all-in-one homeschool curriculum, does this with Khan Academy material. It has its own kind of basic free homeschool curriculum and then it links to Khan Academy videos and other free resources from across the internet, making it more interesting for students. The other reason you shouldn't use Khan Academy for your entire homeschool curriculum is that it is actually incomplete. For example, they don't have anything for elementary, science and English, which is a pretty massive hole. So great in high school, but a little bit hit and miss for other ages. Also keep in mind that this is secular, so it may not be for you for that reason also. But if you are wanting more of a homeschool curriculum that's free, that's Charlotte Mason, what's not to love there, then check out Under the Home. This provides great primary and secondary material. I don't have the high school stuff up yet, but it is very interesting. I made a video about it here. Go check it out Under the Home. 